Welcome to Golf WRX's winning What's in the Bag, our first major of the year, the Masters, and congratulations to Scotty Scheffler. This guy's winning all the time. We've seen his What's in the Bag so many times, but let's go through it again because he is our Masters champion. So we're going to start at the top with driver like we always do, and Scotty is, of course, a tailor-made staffer, so he's playing a tailor-made QI-10 driver. Now, this is the standard head, uh, but it is a little different. It's a tour-only prototype, and it's called a quote-unquote dot head. Uh, and I know we've talked about this before, but the dot heads, TaylorMade's not telling us exactly what they are, but from what, from what we can tell, guys like Scotty, Rory, and other TaylorMade staffers are playing this head. It may sit in between the QI-10 LS and the QI-10 in terms of spin. So a little bit lower than the retail head that we can buy at stores, but a little bit higher than the QI-10 LS. Uh, some players on tour are just very efficient. They don't need the lowest spinning head out there, so they'll grab a little forgiveness and add a little bit of spin. So the dot head... Right near the loft, it'll say, you know, 8.0 with a little dot up in the upper right-hand corner. Kind of look like the degree symbol, uh, but it's there, and that designates the dot heads on tour. Now, Scotty's playing an 8-degree head, and it is a measured loft of 8.25 degrees. Yes, they get that specific on tour. They measure it to the quarter of a degree uh, out there for these players. The loft sleeve on his is actually set to standard loft, so 8.25, but it is set upright. And when you set that upright, usually it makes it a little easier to turn over and hit more of a draw with. And we saw Scotty hit some pretty powerful draws all weekend out there at Augusta. Now it's shafted up with a Fujikura Ventus Black 7X, and this is tipped one inch. The Ventus Black is, of course, the lowest, lower launching, lower spinning profile uh, in the Ventus lineup. Uh, tipped one inch into that sleeve, and it's playing at 45 inches long. So that's pretty close to standard, about a half inch shorter uh, than basically the retail models out there. Uh, and then the swing weight is D4 on that driver. Then we move to 3-wood, and this 3-wood is the TaylorMade QI-10. So the standard model, not the, the uh, Tour or, uh, or the Max Head, the standard QI-10, and it is the 3-wood. It's a 15-degree head with a measured loft of 14.75 degrees. Now, this is actually shafted up with a Fujikura Ventus Black 8X, so the 80-gram version, extremely heavy, extremely stout. The Ventus Black is extremely stiff handle, stiff midsection, extremely stiff tip. And this is tipped one and a half inches into the three wood, so playing uh, a little bit more stout and, uh, than it would normally. And it is 42 and 5 16 inch cut. So what that means is that they measure it to 42 and 5 16 and that's where they cut the shaft, and then they install the grip. The grip usually adds about an eighth to a quarter of an inch length onto a club. Uh, and this has a swing weight of D3. We move into his irons, and the first couple irons are two utility irons, and they're actually not tailor-made. They're Srixon, and they're a little bit older, so they're the Srixon ZU85. So these were actually made a little while ago. I believe they were 2018 was the release date of them, I believe. Uh, but the first one is the three iron, and it is and it is shafted up with a Nippon Modus Ghost Prototype 10X. Now, the Nippon Ghost is a graphite on steel shaft. That's what Ghost stands for. And it is a very super lightweight, super thin steel shaft coated in graphite to get kind of the best of both worlds. Stability of steel, you get that little bit of elasticity and energy transfer of graphite. Uh, it, it might be the Tour X 112 gram. That's what I would assume. Uh, it's probably a prototype version of that. Uh, they make an X and a Tour X, just like they make a stiff and, and a Tour stiff in that ghost shaft. The Tour X would be 112 grams, um, and it's got a similar profile to the Modus 105 iron shaft, which is kind of mid-launch, mid-spin. It flies a little bit higher than that, uh, but very similar in terms of profile as well. So the next utility is his 4-iron, and it is a Srixon ZU85 4-iron, and it's actually shafted up very with the same shaft that he uses in his irons, which is a True Temper Dynamic Gold X100 Tour issue. Now, this is ZU85. Uh, the reason he's playing the older one could be a plethora of reasons. Uh, he slapped a bunch of lead tape on both of them, but the older ZU85s uh, do have slightly more offset and are a touch kind of chunkier looking, a little thicker top line. You see a little bit more of the back muscle on it compared to the brand new ZXs. Uh, and there could be something just also with spin and launch on the U85s that he likes, uh, along with the visual appeal. Now, irons are, of course, the legendary tailor-made P7TWs, and he's playing five through pitching wedge in those. 
Uh, now this is kind of a, this is a set tiger hope design. So it's actually a very thin blade when you look down on it, a very thin top line, uh, but it's actually a little longer heel to toe. Uh, it's got a little bit of like kind of tungsten weight inserted in kind of in the, the mi middle center of the club to get the center of gravity right where Tiger wants it. Uh, but these are played all over tour by guys like Scotty Scheffler, Tommy Fleetwood. Uh, a ton of players play these blades. They are actually, from what I've talked to fitters, a little more forgiving than certain blades out there due to that blade length and shape. Now, Scotty's, interesting enough, do have the actual milled grind sole on them. Uh, so TaylorMade actually mills the sole with a milling machine. That way, they're exactly the same every time, and that's how they're sold at retail. Now, this set also does play a little bit weaker lofts. Uh, the 7-iron comes in at around 35 degrees, pitching wedge 47. I don't know if Scotty actually adjusts those in any way, uh, but a great, uh, a great set of blades. And the Dynamic Gold Tour Issue X100s come in at around 130 grams, and they are super weight sorted to tight tolerances. So they get weight sorted to about a half a gram plus or minus. So at 130 grams, uh, the heaviest one will be 130.5, the lightest one would be 129.5. Now the retail ones I think are closer to about 2 grams plus or minus, but play the same low launch, low spin, very stiff profile. Into the wedges, and he's using the Titleist Vokey SM8, so two generations ago. Uh, now he's playing a 50.12 F-grind and a 56.14 F-grind. The F-grind is the full sole, so a little bit wider, a little bit fuller sole, a little bit more bounce, and you'll get a little bit more float, a little bit uh, shallower divots with that full sole. Great out of the traps, great for steeper players or playing softer conditions. And then the 60, deg uh, 60 degree wedge is a Vokey Wedgeworks 60T grind. Now these here are all a little bit different. We see them kind of in a lot of tour plays, player bags, but these Wedgework Protos, they usually have a little kind of number over on the toe on the back. And, and Scotty has two of them in the bag from the last uh, What's in the Bag we shot. Uh, both have nine, so I believe that nine references kind of the bounce. But usually a 60T grind has four degrees of bounce at retail or, or most of the ones we've seen. This one has a nine stamped on it, so maybe it's slightly higher bounce. Either way, the T grind, tons of trailing edge relief in the heel, in the toe, in the center. And it really allows players like Scotty, who have a great short game, to really open the face up a lot without the leading edge coming off the ground. So you're able to kind of get under the ball, under super tight lies or super firm lies. Uh, and play kind of any shot you want to. It's an extremely versatile wedge, but on the flip side, it's also a little bit more demanding. You can't just hit it fat, uh, or else you're going to get basically no distance out of it. But a very versatile grind, and great for players with a great short game. All three wedges are shafted up with True Temper Dynamic Gold S400 wedges. Now, the S400 is a little bit heavier than the X100, but it's also a little bit softer. So it comes in about 132 grams, about 2 grams heavier than the X100, but it's a stiff flex, a little bit softer, still offers kind of a lower, more penetrating ball flight uh, with decent amount of spin. You get into his putter, and I know putters he kind of changed a while up, but the putter is the same one he won with uh, earlier in the year, and it is a tailor-made Spider Tour X, and it's got the L neck or plumber's neck on it. Uh, and then it does have the Surlin Pure Roll insert. So I know the first prototype he started using when he first went to the Spider had a fully milled face. It was a prototype, had a really forward CG. This is actually very similar to the model you can buy, you know, through the My Spider program. Uh, but the Surlin insert uh, is kind of a plastic. It's basically like a golf ball outer layer material. Uh, it's got the Pure Roll grooves that offer more forward roll, less hop, less skip, and a little bit softer feel with that insert. Uh, the top of it has, is very traditional. It has the True Path uh, full alignment in white, uh, and then it also has a full single uh, black line on it as the sight line. So very simple, very close to retail of what you and I can buy. Uh, and actually, I think Taylor May just released his putter as well, so you can actually get it from them. Uh, the loft on his is 3 degrees, uh, and the lie is 72 degrees. He plays his putter at 35 and a half inches long, and he is gripping it with a, two, a Golf Pride, Pro only cord grip, the 88cc or Green Star. So, this is the largest of the pro onlys. Uh, it's got kind of a little bit more of a rounded oval back shape uh, and a slightly arched kind of uh, paddle shape to it. Uh, so, that is the, the putter. And then we move into ball, and he is playing, the, of course, the Titleist Pro V1. The Pro V1 kind of offers lower long game spin, so lower spin off the driver, three wood, top end of the bag. Offers a little bit softer feel, and then around the way, uh, around the greens, the wedges, it still offers great spin, drop and stop control. 
and then grips for the rest of his clubs outside the putter are the Golf Pride Tour Velvet Ribbed. So ribs means there's basically a little bit of rubber inside the grip on the bottom, on the underhands, and when it fits in the pads of your fingers, you can kind of feel there's a little rib there. People also call it a reminder grip, and it just kind of helps some players put the club in, the, in their hand the way they want it to and have a consistency in the way they grip it. Uh, he actually plays it with six wraps of double-sided tape underneath it. So it's built up, it's a standard grip, built up with six wraps. Now with six wraps of double-sided tape, which is actually thicker, some players will use build-up tape, which is kind of like masking tape, and then a layer of double wrap tape to stick the grip on. The double-sided uh, tape actually holds the grip in place. And it's a little bit thicker than a masking tape. So he's using six layers of actual double-sided tape, which builds it up even a little bit bigger. So a fairly large uh, uh, grip on all of his clubs. So that is Scotty Scheffler's winning what's in the bag from the 2024 Masters. Congratulations to him. It was awesome seeing him play a phenomenal back nine to hold off a few charging players. And we'll wait and see next week to see who wins and dive into their bag.